sunset, barbecue, wine and adult time. I've been able to put the kids to bed, I've got the baby monitor on so I can hear if they wake up and I'm just enjoying a little bit of me time and that's something that I don't appreciate about a hotel holiday is having to keep the kids up late so you can eat in the evening and then watching them get tired and tired throughout the week. You're still doing perhaps quite a bit of what you're doing at home. Obviously, much nicer setting. You might be doing it in a bikini rather than in a rain mac. But um, yeah, still picking out the washing and doing the washing up. I like being able to control and know what my kids have eaten during the day. I've also got a fussy eater, so I can cater for him without all the stress of having to ask for and cheese please with no herbs just making sure that they get their fruit and their veg and I find that harder to do if I'm not cooking for the kids make sure you know before you book your villa what that villa's got on offer stone steps without a stair gate dangerous potty you don't want to travel no one wants to travel with a potty high chair baby cot bed rails sharp corners on stairs how many precautions has the people who own your villa taken to make sure that their villa is safe for your baby or toddler? Toddlers and swimming pools frighten the life out of me. Um, this villa has got gates that are toddler high, walls that are toddler high, that hopefully, you know, you still have to be vigilant as a parent around water ever, but um, these things are really important and not every villa is going to have safety features so make sure you check those before you book any villa. One of the nice things you get in a hotel that you don't get in a villa is service to have somebody bring a drink for you, feed the kids and obviously just do some of the chores that you get fed up with doing at home. So the boys are enjoying lots of things about the hotel, obviously having other people to play with. They could make some great friends, so could you, or you could find yourself hanging out with some people that you really don't want to. Obviously you put the kids to bed in there and then I've got to be quiet and I can't leave the hotel room unless you've got a baby listening service or nanny service so you can go out once or twice during your week. I love sharing a room with the boys and me all squeezing in with them and us snuggling up together. It's really, really nice. But also that can mean that you all have to go to bed late because you're eating out at the same time, meaning that little ones can get grumpy and fractious. And then obviously, if you've got little ones that wake up early, you're all up early as well. Make sure you check pool temperature of hotel or villa because having a cold pool will make the time that your kids want to spend in it very, very short. Check out the kids club. What activities are they going to do? Is it stuff that's going to entertain your age group of child? Check out food times. If you're in a hotel, what time's the buffet going to start? When does it open? When does it close? And does it suit you? This will be number one for me. Make sure you don't get it wrong. If you've got a baby or a toddler, make sure you find out what the safety features are of the villa or the hotel. Have a happy, safe holiday and do all your work beforehand, making sure it's going to be right so that you can have a fantastic time away with your kids. For more great videos from Channel Mum, click subscribe.